They'll be dropping their fish any minute now. Gee, those boys are good. calling blister. We'll go and see if they've bent it. T for Tommy, outward bound to spell the cat at the shadowing game. Jammy charts the Dusseldorf's course on information radio from headquarters. Every man is at his station. Johnny, I'm going around the gun positions. position here. We'll take an arc 10 to reach the reddest position. I see. She's doing 30 knots. That was the speed given in the last signal, sir. That means she can get 35 miles in any direction before we reach her last position. That's right, sir. Well, I suggest when we get there, we do a square search. And we'll fly down the radius last short course for our first leg. Right, I think that's our best plan. We should be there by about 11 o'clock. Since the Catalina turned for home, she's not been shadowed. When's the Sunderland due out there? She ought to have made contact an hour ago. What I imagine has happened is that the Dusseldorf's altered course. The Sunderland's doing a square search for her. Oh, I hope she finds her again. The tense, nerve-testing moments drag slowly on for the men in our Sunderland. The Dusseldorf has vanished without leaving a trace anywhere on that limitless expanse of sea, as if the Atlantic, to cheat T for Tommy again, had thrown a protecting cloak of invisibility about the raider.
Good show, sir. They found her again. By Jove, it's grand. What position does he give? 6105 North, 1410 West, course 063, speed 12 knots. By Jove, she's turned for home. Then out of the ether comes the news. Dusseldorf located, damaged, turned for Norway. The bombardiers of that first wave of Beauforts found their mark, sent the raider limping for home, and our Sunderland won't lose her again. T for Tommy's message brings the Hudsons to the scene, nine of them carrying lethal loads with the Dusseldorf's number. Navigator calling, Captain. Navigator calling, Captain. We've almost reached the Raiders' position, sir. Right. Fuse the bombs and come on up. In the flight leader's plane, they have just spotted their prey, is, and sir. the attack is on. Good. There's the radar. Over beyond. Rover leader calling formation. Rover leader calling formation. Form echelon port. Form echelon port now. A ringside seat at the other fellow's fight. That's the reward of our Sunderland crew for heartbreaking hours spent setting the stage. calling A flight. Rover leader calling A flight. Break up and attack individually. Go! devil's gone in, Henry? Now the lot going in! Going 
Right there, Jimmy. We'll go and get this message away now. Okay, sir. All right. Okay, Sean. Estimated number of hits? Two, sir. That's right, two fired, one now miss off. Three hits, one definitely off. Are you absolutely certain? Yes, certain, definitely three hits. Oi! She's on fire astern. Thank you. Corporal. Will you block this on the left, please? She's had two moldies, one near the stern, which have cut down her speed a good deal. Also, several direct hits with bombs, one of which has started a good fire. Iceland are keeping up the attacks, and 27 groups still shadowing. I'll pass on any more I get. All right, goodbye. OPW, what do you want now? All I want is a little information, please. Certainly. We're always at your service. We'd like to know the exact details of the damage you've done to the Lusseldorf. Well, that would mean the Sunderland going in right close. Hello, all positions. Hello, all positions. We are now going in a little closer to observe the exact damage done to the cruiser. Stand by everyone. Over. Jamie, I want you to go down to the bomb aimer's position and plug into the intercom and pass on any gen to Mr. Briscoe. To understand, okay. And Briss, I want you to get a message pad and take down any information that Jamie will pass up and get a message away immediately. Right out. Jamie, we're going into cloud. I'll give you warning before we come out. Remember, we won't be out for long, so you'll have to get cracking. Okey doke, sir. Right, off you go. back in a moment, come out of this cloud. When we come out, we'll be over the radar. I want everyone to stand by. Ready, Sean? Ready, Jamie? Okay, sir. Right, here we go. Under control, front gun turret damage. Yeah. 
I told you he wouldn't be out for long. That was pretty close. Did anyone see where it was? Can you see it, Jones? Get this off straight away, in plain language. Tanks hit, get some leak stoppers. Which one? Inner, I think. Controller speaking. Cut out the smoking, everybody. There's petrol about. No smoking anywhere. Each one's life may depend upon the other. How true. There's Pam inside there stopping those leaks. High-test aviation fuel burns the skin like liquid fire. Its choking fumes sear the lungs and scald the eyes. You're dying. Go to the midships, will you, and tell Lois to stand by for the front turret. OK, sir. Two holes, sir. Pretty bad, aren't they? Yes, he's doing the bottom one first. How long will it take? He won't be long, sir. Hey, Skip, is it safe to go on transmitting one spark from here now with all this juice about? It's the most important message. We'll have to risk it. Right, sir. Oh, and send returning to base, port tanks hit, and then no more transmission. Exactly what we want. Dusseldorf's been knocked about, all right. Darn good report, Bernard Sunderland. The 27 Group. Have you sent anything out to escort T657? Nothing available. What about that Sunderland from the Australian squadron, the one that landed at Port Ferry Bay last night? All right, you send that. I'll make it all right. As far as we can make out, he must be pretty badly knocked about. We haven't had a jeep out of him since his first distress signal, so of course by now he may be down in the drink. Well, in any case, we'll keep a listening watch on his wavelength in case he does get his wireless going. Let's see now. He was here when he was shot at. Yes, we've sent her a course to fly. You've got that with the rest of your jet. Okay. Then all we can do is fly out on reciprocal and hope we bump into her. Yeah. You got your met report and your recognition signals? Yes, I saw the met man on the way in. Got everything buttoned up, Dougie? Yes, got it all. Here and here. You got all you want? Yes, sir, I'm all set. Right, you better get cracking now. They're sending an Aussie boat out to a lever. That's grand news. I hope they get a move on. I hope so too. Yes. How's the petrol going, Joe? All right, we've got enough in the middle of tanks to get us home with. How's Pam Corby? He's all right. He's nearly finished now. Good. Okay, sir, you can relax now. I've got those sun sights. Were they good ones? Yes. The position line will cut our track. I should be able to get a very good ground speed. That means you can tell us when we'll get home. I hope so, sir. So do I. Got him? Right. How is he, Mace? We'll look after him, all right. 
What's it like, Roy? It'll be all right, sir. It'll hold. That'll get us home, all right. We always get home. Sit down, Ben. Under your coat. Burning? Lewis. Uh, get some Tanifax and a towel, will you? Yes, sir. Oh, and a sweater. Yes, sir. We'll soon have you all right. Well, Force MX ought to be in contact with the Dusseldorf by now. We know there are several enemy aircraft active from Trondrum. They're probably looking for your force. Yes, she's close enough home for them to be able to give her air escort. But I see you're dealing with that. Our bow fighters from Vedra. They ought to be just about there by now. They've been told to give sighting reports as well. No, that's good. The thing that's really worrying me is our damaged Sunderland. She may easily run into a Yonkers 88 or something like that. Mm. Well, she's got a good sting in her tail. The Australian Sunderland rescue bound. In the Brotherhood of the Coastal Command, Never a man or a plane is sacrificed without an attempt at rescue. T for Tommy, least of all. Any news of T for Tommy? No, sir. No news yet. What's their position now? Hmm. Well, the only thing to do is to keep on this course and hope for the best. Looks as though T for Tommy is in for it. A cup of tea, Pam. There's an aircraft on the port side, Johnny. My God. My God, it's 88. Turn to starboard, Johnny, quick. OK, turning to starboard. Hell, I'm going to go to the front turret. Hey, old boy, look after yourself. With those speedy, agile fighters sliding in on T for Tommy's tail, Skipper Campbell dives down to hop the waves so the enemy can't get beneath them to attack. Yes, I can see it, sir. Front turret calling. Can you hear me? Okay, Lewis, turn your turret to port. Be quick. Yes, I can see him, sir. Then he's here, John. He's gone straight over to starboard. Okay, turn it to port. Monday? Yeah, I think I got him that time, sir. Well, he's still flying anyway. Hey! Another three, just in front. There are three more dead ahead. They're breaking formation. The lead is coming straight on. Watch the other two, will you, Mace? It's up to you, Lewis. Watch these two very carefully. You're down, you take the first. Okay, sir. Finally the second. I hit him that time, sir. There he goes, right in. That's more like it. Take over. Where'd they get you? Any arm? Damn it. Huey's been hit. Go off and see if you can give a hand, will you? Okay, sir. This will put me out of action for a bit, Henry. Yes, a nice spot of leave now, you wee boy. Yeah. Oh, it's OK. It's only right just my guns. Hello, Control. Starboard midship's gun OK, sir. OK, Jones. 
Everybody reloaded. Got new magazines on. Keep an eye open, everybody. Still three aircraft about, you know. Captain to navigator. Captain to navigator. We've either missed her or she's down in the drink. You'd better work out a square search. Let me know as soon as you've got the first course ready. Hold it, navigator. We found them and there's a bit of a party on. Action stations, everybody. Captain to all positions. Action stations. In we go. K for Katie. Just in time for the fireworks. Side. You'll see them in a minute, Israel. Keep your eyes open, Monday. Watch that fellow on the outside. Now, Israel, can you see him? Frankie, another three on our starboard bow. It's all right, they're both fighters. It's all right, John, they're both fighters. Four fighters coming, Henry. What? Where's all? He'll fix him up, decent boy. Lovely. Ah, oh, lovely grub. Jerry's had it. The turning. Boy, what a picture. <laughs> Sir, I fixed it up all right. You're all right, you aren't you? Yes. Good. Commonplace, unspectacular. The patrol crews of the Coastal Command will tell you. Commonplace, unspectacular indeed. As our ship comes home with its wounded, no headlines will blazon the deeds of Tifa Tommy and its crew. Such heroism as theirs is seldom rewarded with medals and they count it no more than routine duty. Excepting for their RAF comrades, the men of T for Tommy are just another anonymous patrol crew heading back to their dismal station. When the unsung heroes of this war are acclaimed, let us not forget the quiet courage of the Coastal Command. <laughs> 